let's hope that this goes well. <laughs> Hello my friends, it's Nina and we're painting today. As you may or may not know on my channel, sometimes I paint and today seemed like a day for painting. So that is what we're going to do today. By the way, this is an Americano, an iced Americano, just in case I need it. I also do have a bottle of water, always stay hydrated, lots of liquid. We are good to go. So recently on Instagram, there has been this thing going on, not like all over social media, but just like on my accounts. But lately there's been this thing going on where you guys are tagging me in your paintings of skies and clouds. And it became kind of like a little trend where you guys would send me your paintings of clouds and skies with a quote saying, when you don't know what to paint, paint the sky. Because apparently I said that in a past video. I looked back at that past video to see if I actually said that. I said something on the lines of that, but I didn't actually say that. It would have been smart and cool if I did, but I said something like, if you don't know where to start, paint a sky or something like that. It doesn't have measurements, it's very free. I still stand by that. And also you guys kept going with that quote, so I was like, I can't stop them. <laughs> so I decided for this video, I would kind of get in on that trend that you guys made and I would paint a sky for you guys. I did not invent painting the sky nor do I claim anything like that. I just thought it was really cute and I haven't painted in so long that I kind of felt bad that you guys were painting so much and I was just here like not doing anything creative. <laughs> so without further ado, let's paint a sky. So I'm going to just quickly introduce my materials. I have this very old easel. She's definitely been through a lot. I have this little baby canvas. And then for paint, I got some new paint. These are the Liquitex Acrylic Color Basics. I lost all of my painting materials from the move. I have no idea where anything is. So I had to buy new paintbrushes, new paints, and then I also had to get a little palette, but this was the only one that I could find at the art store. And then I got some paintbrushes. I don't know the brand, but I got them from the art store. It's a really simple set. My reference photo today is going to be this one that you can't see. It is a picture of clouds that I took this one day. I put it on my Instagram story, but this is, oh, now you can see it. This is a picture that I took. Now I'm going to go in. I do have a cup of water for my paint. I just hope I don't accidentally drink my paint water because sometimes that almost happens. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. So I'm going to use this big brush. This is the biggest brush that is included in this set. I'm going to paint this light blue color. Yes, I'm going to need a lot of white. I used to have palette knives, but again, I lost all of my painting materials and I didn't think about getting a new palette knife. So I'm kind of just using my brush. This will be fine though. This is a nice color. So here we go. We're gonna go for it. Yes, it's a delightful, cute little color. So we're gonna have a nice blue all over and then we'll make it a little more complex with different blues, different tones. But we're gonna get a nice even coat right now. Someone once commented why I paint skies all the time and then they mentioned something about how a person will paint something over and over if it has like a special meaning to them. And I guess I just like the freedom of skies. It's kind of something that humans haven't really tainted yet. Obviously there's climate change and greenhouse gases and all that, but otherwise the sky is still up there. You can't really destroy the sky. <laughs> I mean greenhouse gases, but it's just a thing that's kind of like up there and I think that's really pretty. I really like stargazing and at night I love seeing the moon. I shared on Twitter my favorite childhood memory which was when I was younger. I liked going to the beach and I liked stargazing and watching the moon. I liked seeing the reflection of the moon on the water. I had different names for the moon depending on each of its phases. Some names were like Boris, Loris, Dolores, all that. When the moon was a gibbous moon, I think the moon's name was Boris. But I've always had a fascination for this guy and naturally it became my favorite subject to paint. Not just because it's easy to paint, but there's just like a nice feeling that comes out of it. So we have a nice solid light blue. You can call it a day. <laughs> Some museums actually display paintings just like this, one solid color. But of course, we're going to continue. Someone also asked me if I liked sunrises better or sunsets better. And I like both, but I do like sunsets better just because I don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn to experience a sunset. <laughs> I do like sunrises, but I prefer sunsets just because there's more color variety. While a sunrise, the color is just kind of at one point because the sun's coming up. And then once the sun comes up, that means I have to do the rest of my day. <laughs> With a sunset, I can just stay up for a few more hours and then sleep which is nice. <laughs> but I do appreciate a good sunrise from time to time. This happened too fast. Now I have to actually do the clouds. So in the reference picture, the bottom is kind of 
dark as you can see I'm going to add just a little black because there are elements of gray Also, if you mess up, it's acrylic, you can just paint right over it Okay, that looks good, that looks good, good, good So if you can see, it's a little darker here. That's what we want. We're going to paint this over with pink clouds anyway, so it doesn't really matter how far you go. It won't kill me to make it a little dark over here as well. Painting is definitely a good summer activity if you don't know what to do during your day. Painting naturally takes up a lot of your time. At this point, I can go in with the clouds now. The clouds have a lot of depth, and so I'm going to make the kind of blurry part of the cloud first. I'm gonna need a good amount. That's a lot of red, sorry. Who did I just apologize to right now? Yellow right here? Yes, just a little bit. So now we're going to make our pink. Wow, it's already getting there. Gonna add just the tiniest yellow and red here. I'm gonna go for it. How much do I want? A lot? I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Mm. Going for it, going for it, going for it. Yes, this looks good. Again, you really can't go wrong with this guy. You can't mess up. And even if you do mess up, you have a painting in the end and I think that's all that matters. I think I'm going to go in with my round brush just so I don't have these like flat edges. I'm going to get my round one as you can see right here. Uh huh. Uh, mayhaps this was not the right brush. Maybe I should dry a little bit more. This has to be a little dry. Yes. So if the brush is a little dry, it kind of gives that wispy effect. There we go. I can go higher with this if I want. This is my painting. I can do whatever I want. There's going to be a lot of layers to your painting. Really just be patient with it. So you can see the clouds starting to appear. This is only the first layer. I'm so excited. Here, I'm just going to make like a grayish color. I'm just mixing the blue mixture with the pink mixture. As you can see right there, it's kind of like this purpley color. I'm just gonna kind of test it out. You can barely see it, but it also adds a little element. So I just made more of- What am I doing? So I just made more of this purpley gray color. Here we go. Please dry a little bit. This is going to be my seventh painting of a sky. Am I good? <laughs> you see that? Then over here a little bit. And then with a kind of wet brush, not too wet, but just like a little damp, I'm kind of blending the colors together. Kind of going off. I love the fact that when you're done with this, you just have a painting. Like, you made that. That's your creation. That's your baby. Now I'm going to go in with a lighter color. This needs like a bright pink color. Once I was painting with my friends and I kind of got frustrated when I was painting because first off, I was using a paint that I wasn't very familiar with and so it didn't give me the colors that I wanted. So I started off with like this bluish, purpley, gray color. It wasn't very pleasant and it didn't look like my reference picture at all and then I got frustrated so I was like I'm gonna paint it all black and paint like a galaxy or something and then I was like wait I want to paint a sky though so I painted the entire thing pink and so there were like five layers of paint at this point and I got really frustrated and then I told my friend god why do I have a painting series why am I a painter I'm not even like good at it or like I'm not even the best at it and then my friend was like well that doesn't really matter though the whole point is the experience of painting and then that kind of made me chill out a little bit Bit because I was like true at that time I was really frustrated that it wasn't turning out the way that I wanted and usually I'm very you know lenient about that so my friend reminded me that it's not about being the best at it it's about the fact that you're with your friends or you're with yourself and you're just dedicating this time to create something that's what really matters and I just forgot about it at that point and so I did paint a painting my friend was like you don't have to be good at it you just have to enjoy it and it made me realize you know in our really competitive society we just forget to enjoy doing something everything kind of becomes like a competition we think we have to be the best or don't do it at all I try to remember not to approach life like that I paint because I like it and I hope you do too I mean unless you know you're in art school where you literally have to be graded for what you do or your career is in art where you literally have to be the best in what you do but just in the process remember that 
that whatever you create is something even if someone else doesn't like it even if someone else thinks you have to do this or that or change this or that in the end it's your life these people's opinions and all that won't be in your life in 20 years you'll be i'll be how old am i i'll be 40 50 i'm just painting because i like it so here's the painting so far Something serene about it. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, just enjoy painting. When I was in kindergarten and I was drawing, I wasn't thinking about trying to be better than the person sitting next to me. I was just thinking, I wanna draw a house. I wanna draw a sky. I wanna draw a tree. I wanna draw a sun with sunglasses for the heck of it. And then later we got introduced to society and then everything changed. But when you can, just try to remember that you're doing it for fun. Unless you're on a time crunch and you literally have to be in a competitive setting to produce a painting or something. I just I just hope that in your life, at one point, you have some peace and quiet to create something for fun, not because you have to. So we're adding little dots here and there. They kind of look like flowers, like little flower petals just floating in the sky. I might need a smaller brush for that though. Gonna use a smaller round tip brush and kind of just blend it out a little bit. This is just a dry brush and I'm using it to blend it out. Like nothing happened. made a mistake but like bob ross said there's no mistakes there's just happy accidents oh i keep making mistakes these are not mistakes these are happy accidents it's all good all good all good all good all good i actually kind of like that right there i'm gonna blend it out a little bit yeah it adds a little contrast that was a good move happy accident just need to blend it out a little bit now i'm trying to make like a hot pink kind of pink yay there she is So now we're going to make gray for the bottom of the clouds. We have the gray, we're going to paint under. I could have used a smaller brush. Yeah, let's do it. I, I, need, a, I need more control. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. We're going to go under. Yay! Ah! Blend you out. There we go, there we go, there we go. I think this is the part of the video where I'm going to just do a time lapse and try to finish this. Wish me luck. I'm gonna do a time lapse now. Let's go. Honestly, I think the fun thing about painting is that you just really never know what you're going to get I think at the end I eventually just kind of took a more abstract approach and it kind of just has a little more Personality to it. I think I'm gonna turn off my phone. I don't really need it anymore This is my new child. I gave birth to it and added to my collection of skies Is it a painting of mountains and trees? Is it a painting of cherry blossoms or is it a painting of the sky? Only I know right in here. Honestly, at first I was a little frustrated because I kept messing up as you saw in the time lapse. I would try to experiment and then cover it with more paints and then more paints and then more paints. But in the end, we have a painting and I think that is beautiful. This is about two hours worth of effort. <laughs> I feel like if I had more time, maybe it would have been not better. It just would have been something else. Any work of art is a work of art. I don't know where I'm gonna put you, but that is it for this painting session. It was quite the ride but in the end we gave birth to a piece of art i hope you enjoyed this painting session i hope it was a nice time i hope maybe you created something and if you didn't i hope you enjoyed watching thanks for watching this video and i will see you in my next video goodbye my friends